everyone has been saying that they wanna know what was in that warrant. What justified the raid on Mar-a-Lago? Mayor Garland said he's gonna be pushing for it. Trump swore that he wanted it out there too, and now we actually have it with a judge unsealing certain documents related to the search warrant of former President Donald Trump. The inventory included in it shows the FBI removed 11 sets of classified information from the Trump property, including some marked as top secret and some classified documents that were only meant to be kept in secure government facilities. So there is top secret, there are additional levels of top secretness that we are all learning about today. You can see a bit of what was unsealed in this screenshot right here, sort of manifesto of the paperwork. Uh, that they were able to recover. If we could bring that up, you'll see um, a number of different uh, classification levels. Uh, obviously, it's small text, it's all available now, by the way. Um, and you can see uh, a ton of different stuff that they've gotten in the different levels of uh, top secretness uh, that were there. Now, what's interesting about this is it was actually sort of leaked in multiple different steps. Now, what most people see is what eventually came out with, for instance, the names of the agents involved from the FBI redacted. But that wasn't how many people first saw it. Because apparently, Donald Trump leaked it to Breitbart, who leaked it first so that they could claim an exclusive, knowing that literally everyone on the planet would have access to it 10 minutes later. But mm -hmm. anyway, they did not waste time redacting the names of the agents, which was nice. That way, their names are out there and they will now be the target of countless death threats. But what they also revealed initially was that what part of the basis of the warrant was what's known as 18 USC 793, also known as the Espionage Act. That is part of what this was conducted dun, dun, under. Dun. No big deal, except that it very, very, very much is. So they indicate that the warrant was issued to investigate potential violations of the Espionage Act, which states among other things that an official entrusted with sensitive or classified information who allows it to be taken away from its secure location through quote, gross negligence. And I don't think negligence has ever been this gross before, mm -hmm. or who knows it's been removed from safety and doesn't tell federal officials can be, wait, what's this? Fined or imprisoned for up to 10 years. <laughs> they also suggested inquiry to possible improper removal or destruction of federal records and obstruction of a federal investigation. He apparently ran out of all of his get out of obstruction charge free. You can see in this tweet here the breakdown of the different aspects of the law that were being investigated, everything from Getting rid of documents, destroying documents, mishandling of documents, as well as, as we said, the Espionage Act. So there is many other aspects of this that we need to jump into. But uh, you know, as they say, S just got real. Yeah. So uh, I want to get into the Espionage Act and, and a couple of the consequences, including death, uh, in a second. Okay. Uh, and let me just note, even before we get to it, that that's not what we're advocating for. Yeah. Okay. So. Um, First of all, Breitbart's leak was hilarious. They accidentally leaked the Espionage Act stuff, and when they realized they bungled it, first of all, they somebody had a great line on Twitter about it was like the biggest case of burying the lead ever, <laughs> right? And then they try to retract it 15 minutes later, noticing, of course, it angered the big guy that leaked it to them, right? And they're like, oh, well, I mean, it's an Espionage Act. I mean, could it? Is it really? I don't know. I mean, we just put out the whole thing. Oops. Um, and in terms of uh, the oops on the on the names of the agents, that's not an oops. They're doing it on purpose, and it definitely endangers their lives. And I think they mean to endanger their lives. We can't know for sure uh, what's in their heads, but we they already know, as we do, that Judge Reinhardt, who issued the warrant, has been lied about endlessly. We'll tell you more about that later in the show, and has received death threats, anti-Semitic death threats, and the list goes on. So they're like, oops, did we leak the FBI agents and tell you that it's uh, the tyranny of the government that you've always been looking forward to with your Second Amendment rights. Did we do that? Okay, so these are the monsters that are on the right wing. Now, Espionage Act, yes, some parts of it say 20 years to even death. Uh, and so that's crazy talk, obviously, in this context. I think it's crazy talk. Uh, and, and what about just a month of hard labor? Just like one month. Oh well, that, that for, for His Trump, first month. for Trump, that might be a death sentence. Yeah. <laughs> okay, like, <laughs> but anyways, no, seriously, guys, the, the I'm just telling you that only so you know how serious that Spinoja Act is. And as uh, Francesca was saying before we got on there, that's why they shouldn't 
have never charged reporters and Snowden with mm -hmm. absurd laws like that. But this actually is a violation of the Espionage Act. Uh, Trump isn't gonna get anywhere near that kind of a sentence, but to get convicted of it would be astounding, astounding. There's another important, really important part of this. Uh, the third charge is destruction, alteration, falsification of records and federal investigations. So if you are convicted of that, it does carry a clause, the person must forfeit, quote, any office that they would run for in the United States and be disqualified from holding office. Now there's some question as to whether that would apply to the president because the president is outlined in the constitution and that is an act that might affect the constitution. But it is definitely possible that the person, if a person is convicted of that, they could be barred for life from ever running for office. By the way, if you've got the nuclear codes, when you have no business having the nuclear codes, and God knows what you're gonna do with them, which we'll get to in a second. Yeah. You should be barred from for life uh, from running for office. I'm gonna say one more thing before we get to Francesca about the charges, because this is really interesting. The second one is uh, gathering, transmitting, or, or losing defense information. That sounds like, well, that could again be negligence or something. No, 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 but the rest of it is with intent or reason to believe that the information is to be used to the injury of the United States mm -hmm. with intent to injure the United States. So that means the FBI thinks that Trump took this material to use it against America. But wow. like that requires a lot of evidence. There's no precedent for him doing similar things. Oh my God, Ukraine, like we've done this before. It's been behind closed doors, it's been out in the open. You got Jared Kushner up in the mix, getting $2 billion from the Saudis. Who knows what is in these documents. But of course, we have to remember, these documents were subpoenaed months in the spring by like from the DOJ to, the, the, to Trump, right? Saying you need to give everything over. So they gave some documents. But then there were some left. And then someone very close to Trump, imagine this, someone very close to Trump thought that it was more dangerous to keep these classified documents in the hands of, I don't know, the caddy at Mar-a-Lago or wherever they're <laughs> keeping them, than actually be the mole, be the rat and say, look, you, there's more documents here, maybe a raid is necessary, or I mean, I'm sure that person didn't say it, but actually just outing the fact that there were more documents. So honestly, th these are serious, these are important. And you know what? It's not good for the far right. It's not good for the right that we now know a little bit more because they love the ambiguity. They sure. want to capitalize on it. They want to say, you know, this is ridiculous. This is just, it's willing. They, they don't know facts, all yep. feelings. And they continue to, you know, level threats on the FBI and anyone else working for the DOJ. Um, yeah. On national television. Yeah, yeah, they've all been implying that all we want is information, but they don't. And stay tuned because we're gonna cap our final thing for this segment is gonna be Marjorie Green blowing a massive hole through the argument that they just want transparency. Um, but for now, though, uh, yeah, with, with Breitbart, I, I mean, that's such a dangerous thing to do. Uh, although, in their defense, if you have been a crazy person this week that wants to strike out at the FBI, where are you supposed to go? You don't know. So I guess you go, I don't know, whatever's local, Cincinnati or whatever, and try to kill people there. Now they have specific targets, which I think saves a lot of time and effort. So that was not super irresponsible to do the day after an attempted lethal attack against the FBI, but They're what do I know? They're encouraging They're serious journalists terrorism. and we're not. No, <laughs> according to people following like the truth social conversations and the telegram conversations, they're like, oh yeah, we need to, um, they'll be the first on the planes and we'll uh, you know, dump them into the river like under you know, Pinochet, Pinochet or like, yeah. like they're, they're openly yeah. talking about this kind of stuff. I mean, yeah. they're already talking very much about murdering the judge and hanging, should they hang him? Should they kill him in other ways? Yeah. And it's not like right wingers are shy about doing Acts of terrorism, they've been doing it nonstop. Um, yep. So, and the FBI says they're the number one threat. I don't know when cops are gonna get it through their heads that yeah. it's the right wing that's trying to do them harm. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun, but you also get Playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that 
All you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.